What's going on, everybody? Greg Ehrenberg here from Mile Chopper. It's Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, by the way, I'm going to be away for the next few days. Uh, I got my birthday coming up, taking some time away. But before I do, I want to make sure I got this video out for you guys on Monday. So as you come in, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. But one of the main reasons that I want to do this video for you before I go away on vacation is because I want to make sure to tell you guys about a new deal over at Caesars that is going to help you make a good amount of money. Because when you sign up at Caesars, using the link that we have below, you place a $50 bet, and they're going to give you $250 in bonus bets for free. They give you a $50 bet each week leading up to the NFL season. All you have to do is sign up using that link below, place a $50 bet, and then $250 in bonus bets paid out $50 at a time. So take advantage of this offer because we don't really see a ton of these pop up, but when they do, it is a really easy way for you guys to make some free money over to new sports book. It's better than any kind of value I could show you in terms of bets, just signing up here at Caesars. And if you or anybody you know has a gambling problem, call or text the number 1-800-GAMBLER. Now let's go ahead and look at the best bets of the day in Odd Shopper. And uh, something else we could do as well, though, just because there is that Caesars promo. Let's just look at Caesars on the Odd Shopper because you can sort by different sports books here. And we can just see what is the overall best bet of the day from Caesar. So if you're making that bet and you want to place it today, James Paxton under 17 and a half outs. So we have him projected to go less than six full innings on the road against Houston. And I do like this one quite a bit. The Houston Astros offense is healthy, which has not been the case for the entire of the season, but they're finally getting healthy right now. Paxton's also slowed down a little bit as of late. Seems like he's fatiguing as the season goes on. He's also on the road in Houston. So if you want to take advantage of that Caesars promo at the top of the show that I said about, Here's the best bet of the day from Caesar to take advantage of it. But let's look at all of the rest of the best bets of the day as well. And we have, let's see, I actually only want to look at today because I'm seeing some bets from over the weekend popping up. So here we go. So just looking at today, we have, here's a tennis bet that's popping up, Nava versus Kovacevic. So if you guys want to bet some tennis, this game over 22 and a half games, minus 103, but we have the fair line of minus 110. So that's something that stands out as far as baseball goes. Let's look at some home run picks. Andrew Vaughn, who ended up homering yesterday in Coors Field. We also have him as a good bet here, plus 800 to homer. We have the fair line at plus 704. As per usual, I'm sure the case with FanDuel is that they are offering a much better line than any other book in the home run market, which, yeah, by a mile. This really shows to you guys how much value there is in this FanDuel line compared to everywhere else. There's not a single other book that's posting Andrew Vaughn line at wider than plus 600 homer. The next best line is plus 575 on bet 365, plus 800 over on FanDuel. So Andrew Vaughn looks like a really good value bet over there, our highest EV projected bet of the day. We've got some bases props here. Hits props, so if any of those catch your eye, I have all those on screen right here. Here's a strikeout prop on Slade Ciccioni. I'm not totally sure how to pronounce his last name, but he's primarily been serving as kind of like a long opener for the Arizona Diamondbacks, and I don't think it's all that likely we see him stretch out a ton. I'll pull up some of his recent pitch counts and whatnot and see how deep he's working into games. So three and a half, it does seem like a pretty low strikeout prop, but then you start to consider, like I said, you know, how deep is this guy going to be working in two games? He has made a total of two starts this year at the big leagues, made a grand total of three appearances, and he has pitched per, per start four innings, one and two thirds innings, four innings. So if we're only getting like four-ish innings out of Ciccioni, and then he's also got a tough matchup against the Texas Rangers, pretty difficult to expect him to end up going for four more strikeouts. He's only done he's only done that once out of his three appearances this year and four of the year, you know, a little over 10 innings pitch and only seven strikeouts in totality. So I do like the under here for Ciccioni. Let's see what else. Brent Rooker to Homer. Not crazy value, but a little bit there. Let's see if we have another strikeout prop we could find. Here's one on uh, Tuki Tucson for under 15 and a half outs. Uh, I think that's a pretty good look here as well as far as Tuki Tucson goes. He's made it into the White Sox rotation. He's not pitching especially well. And then also as a matchup against a Mariners team that could not be hitting the ball better right now. So uh, I do like Tuki Tucson to not make it deeper than five innings into the game. There's that Paxton prop again. 
Yeah, nothing too much else that stands out. Let's go and look at the prize picks build. And if you guys want to sign up for the data and tools we have at Odd Shopper, you can use the link below and get 70% off the first time you sign up. But let's go and look at prize picks. So on prize picks, we got Seager not have an RBI, Aaron Nola for under six and a half strikeouts, McNeil under one and a half total bases, James Paxson under five and a half strikeouts, Chichoni again for under three and a half strikeouts, and then Ron Weathers over four and a half total hits allowed. So in total here, this is a six-leg flex parlay on prize picks with a 15% expected EV. So actually one of the better marks that we've seen on prize picks uh, when I've built out really any six-leg parlays for baseball this year. Let's see what we have for FanDuel. So FanDuel parlay, we've got, take this preseason football out, take some of these out. I'll leave the tennis, eh, no, I'll add one tennis line, just see how it changes. So right here, it's a two-leg parlay, Lucas Giolito, by the way, massive strikeout, up seven and a half on Giolito, and then uh, Paul Blackburn under five and a half strikeouts. So this is a 2% expected EV. Let's see if I add in this tennis bet. All right, that moves it to 4%. So we've got plus 455 parlay here, 4% expected EV. Giolito under 4.5 strikeouts, Paul Blackburn under 5.5, and, and that tennis bet that I mentioned before, Shimanovich against uh, Rocky Mova. Actually, is that the same one from before? I can't remember these names. I don't I don't remember which tennis bet I had before. Totally blanking. But if this, if, if this is a different one, this is another tennis bet that makes sense here on FanDuel and adding this to a parlay builder. Gave us a 4% expected even on an 18% win rate. So this is a little preview of all the stuff we have in Odd Shopper. But also, don't forget, guys, take advantage of that Caesars offer. You can get $250 in bonus bets totally for free. All you have to do, sign up using the link below, place a $50 bet, and boom, free money. Something to take advantage of before that goes away. Great way to build your bankroll out. And other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a good week. I'm going to be back on Friday, taking a few days off. For my birthday, going to be hanging out and uh, having some fun, living life. So until then, I hope you guys have a great week. Win all your bets. See you back here Friday. Peace out.